Okay, hello everybody, this is Steve. I'm back and I'm going to do three more TikToks. Actually, they're Instagrams or whatever they are, they're shorts. And uh, this one I didn't do, I, I did it out of, I'm doing it out of sequence, not that that makes any difference to anybody, only to me because I'm Mr. OCD guy. And uh, let's go ahead and watch it. So I think most of you know what this is, a hating game. It's a, a, picture, a motion picture, and Angelina sang the soundtrack, I believe. Um, Angelina says up here, so happy to see my version of this song is in the opening of the movie. You can find this song on the hating game soundtrack as Mercy, link in bio. Okay, so there you go. So Angelina's not in the movie, but she hears her voices, and let's listen a little Okay, there's video number one. We are going to go, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get video number two ready to go. Okay, here we are with the next one. I don't know what it is. I th uh, let's go listen. <laughs> I saw you dancing in a crowded room. You look so happy when I'm not with you. But then you saw me caught you by surprise. A single tear drop only from your eyes. Okay, I still don't know the song. <laughs> nah, nah, that's not unusual for me. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't see anything about the song up here. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything in the comments. Ariana Grande? Okay, an Ariana Grande song, which would explain why I don't know it. Uh, I'm, I'm not very, I'm not very much up to speed on the, uh, pretty much anybody but Angelina, and that's questionable. So let's go ahead and watch this again. I saw you dancing in a crowded room. You look so happy when I'm not with you. But then you saw me caught you by surprise. A single tear drop only from your eyes Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You know, if I, um, you know, we have some discussion here in the comment section sometimes about Angelina and the way she looks and so on. If, if I did not know Angelina and I saw her walking down the street, I'd say, now that is one beautiful young lady right there. She just, she is, she's a very attractive young, young woman. And um, now I'm not saying that in a way like I'm going to go ask her for a date. That, it will not happen. Uh, I'm, set, I'm 68 years old for Pete's sake. I, <laughs> I've said it before. Uh, 
I, I wouldn't allow her to go on a date with me. If she asked me, I'd turn her down because, and I'm not trying to use her psychology. She belongs with somebody closer to her own age and good luck finding somebody that's going to treat her with proper respect, but that's what she needs. Somebody that's going to love her unconditionally and uh, you know treat her with the respect she deserves. She's she's is a rare individual and a rare talent. She deserves to be treated uh, like the princess that she is, as far as I'm concerned. But you know, go out with an old codger like me. Come on, you know, it's, that's not even in the realm of possibility. And I, I I wouldn't let it happen anyway. It's not right. She belongs with somebody that's way uh, closer to her. Uh, so. People say, sometimes when I say things, I feel like people are thinking, thinking something else. They probably aren't, but I just think that, you know, everybody thinks, you know, dirty old man, that kind of stuff. I think of Angelina like my granddaughter, for Pete's sake. You know, she's, <laughs> that's the age difference. That's where we're at. And, you know, when I say I love Angelina, I don't mean, you know, in a, any other way other than like a family member. And, she, she, you know, I... I, I uh, I shouldn't think I should even have to explain such things, but every once in a while I get a comment that leans that way, and it's like, eh, eh, no, 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 no. It's not even, it doesn't even enter my mind, except for when you guys make comments about it, okay? Some of you. There's only a couple that do that. It's not very many, but I, I take it to heart because I, I think it's so, you know, we live in a world that seems to be oversensitized to everything, you know? Come on. There, there's there's such things as jokes and people say stuff and they don't mean to say it exactly that way. It comes out a little cross-eyed, whatever. You know, come on, get over it, will you? You know, we all make mistakes. And, you know, if I mean, if there's a repeated theme all the time, you know, that's why I kind of got away from talking about the, you know, different things about Angelina's appearance. Based on some recommendations from some, some of the comments from the viewers. And I'm okay with getting away from it a little bit, but I think it's worth pointing out that, she she's she is a very attractive she's developed into a she's always been cute adorable and all the other things you know as she's grown up we've watched it all happen right in front of her eyes she, and like I said she's like a family member she is she's a pretty girl you can't there's no denying that and I don't know why she has to dodge it you know and not talk about it uh, do I have to dwell on it like I just did for five minutes <laughs> oh I'm just I just you know me I start talking about something you can't. It's like a pit bull on a pork chop sometimes. You can't get me off it for a little while. But let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next video. I'll go get that one and be right back. I'm going to do like I did before, by the way. I'm going to play these. I'll probably talk in between a little bit. And I'm going to play all three of these at the end right next to each other. Boom, boom, boom. No talking in between, okay? I'm going to try to get the talking done now. I'm going to do a little bit at the end. And that'll be done with the talking part. So if you like to hear me talk, you'll know when it is. That's when it's going to happen. And if you don't, you don't. Okay, this is the third one. This is... Scan down through the comments, see if anybody mentions the name of the song. <laughs> oh, boy. I, this is how I get my information. Hopefully it's right. Love the acoustic song by Yeah, no. Okay. Nothing there. Okay, let's listen. Hands on each other 
Blood and stains will be far apart Closer the better Now we picking fights Slamming doors Magnifying all our flaws And I wonder why Wonder what for Why we keep coming back for more Oh, is it just our bodies? Are we all losing our minds? Is the only reason you're holding me tonight? Cause we're scared to be lonely. Yeah. It's a beautiful, 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 beautiful song. Like most songs, it's about relationship I guess and um, yeah there's there's some feels in that one there's, there's used some feels you know there's feelings in all of Angelina's songs some more than others some of them I start crying right at the beginning because <laughs> might as well get warmed up right for the floodgates to open and uh, she's just a She's just a, uh, an artist, I guess, a naturally gifted and talented artist. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the first one. I'm not going to talk. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to stop it. And then I'm going to go get the second one, play it, stop it. No talking in between, okay? That way you can watch them all quickly like you would normally do when you were just, you're just swiping for yourself. What I'm trying to do is help you guys out a little bit. I'm trying to help you with the swipey thing and then I'm just putting a little talk in there to make it hopefully a little bit more fun a little more interesting maybe I don't know I'm, that's what I'm trying to do um, I know I amuse myself probably yeah, more, than I, <laughs> more than I do the, the audience but uh, let's let's have it I'm gonna go get the first one and then they're gonna go one two three ready let's do it TikToks, Mercy, uh, and the other two, I don't know their names. <laughs> D 
Nameless Video 1 and Nameless Video 2. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to come across them or not. Probably in the... Uh, no, it's not in there either. I was going to say probably when I put the link in my description box of each one. But it doesn't come out with a name on it. It just comes out with, the, with all those long... The long series of numbers and letters. Uh, oh well. Hey, if you like I hope you liked it. Even if we don't know the name. And... You know, Angelina, she just has the voice of an angel anyway. Does it matter? <laughs> does, does the name of the song really matter? Nah, not really. Uh, <laughs> Who was it? Randy Jackson on uh, one of those talent shows used to say, Oh, uh, uh, X Factor, was it? Boy, how come I can't think of that? It's the one where they basically were setting somebody up to be a, a, a musician at the end of it. Not not the, one of the new ones. It was an old old one that was around forever. It might still be around. I don't know. Um, and he, he used to say almost to every singer, well, it, she can sing the phone book or he can sing the phone book. That it was his comp high compliment was they can sing the phone book. But he said it too much, I think. But, um, uh, yeah, that was... And here's a case, if there was such a thing as a phone book anymore, which I don't know if you could even find one. Uh, you might be able to buy one from a museum. But, uh, yeah, they don't make phone books anymore. Don't need them. And they, they, I think they send out yellow pages still, though, in a, in a thing. I don't know why they do that either. Because all you got to do is call, call the pizza shop on the corner. <laughs> That's right there. You know, it's, they, they, we don't need that stuff anymore. And you know what? I like it. I like my phone. You know, I like my smartphone. It's actually very helpful. And when it works good, it, look, it works great. It's, it's awesome. And like anything else, when it doesn't work so good, it's a little frustrating. But most of the time, it works pretty good. It's pretty reliable. So, you know, Angelina is, is in that uh, category for me. Uh, every note, every song... Every word, every every uh, the way she she moves her head around, looks up sometimes, looks over this way, you know. She, she's playing the guitar here too, which is uh, a skill she's been developing along the way. We've seen it happen right in front of us, and uh, to me, when she does these little videos, they're probably more of like a practice session. She's practicing both the guitar and singing with the guitar. Uh, at the same time, and I can see where that would be uh, something where that, that's helping you with your performances a lot, because when she doesn't have a guitar, then she can focus entirely on her voice and the singing. Uh, maybe some of her stage uh, presence, or you know how she might present herself on stage. But the uh, you know now you throw a guitar in there, you got to get that right too. So you got two things to to do at the same time. That counts me out. I'm done. I can. Barely manage one at a time these days, but um, it's it's you know that takes time to learn that you know. Plus she's out she's playing the guitar she's doing it I think quite well I don't know if she's made any mistakes I wouldn't know if she did or not, and uh, but then she's also smiling for the camera she's very aware where the camera is, uh, so she's performing for the camera to to whatever degree she can, and you know it's just a it, she just has. She's been doing it for so long, we forget about that, since 10 years now, going on 11 uh, at least, and even before that probably, uh, we've seen younger videos of her. Uh, she's been on stage performing, and she loves it. That's where she feels comfortable. She really does. I mean, you can't walk out. Remember that one video where she was in was in Seoul, Seoul, South Korea? I think she walked up there, 40,000 40, people, and she was, what, 10? somewhere between 8 and 10. I don't even know if she was 10 yet at that one. And she just walks right out there. There's nothing to it. Walks right out there, gets the mic, starts singing. It's like, you know, just the same thing as if she's doing it in the, the room by herself. You know, there's no, no difference to her. You know, except she loves an audience, so I think she gets more pumped up when there's an audience. But you'd never know it by the way she acts, talks, sings. She just walks right out there and gets right, right busy. And... Um, you have to you have to admire that about her, because that's a natural thing for her. It's not something that she has learned it over time, of course, 
you know, from doing it so often, but she walked right out there and uh, Norway's Got Talent. Was she nervous on the first song? Well, maybe a little. <laughs> Can you blame her? <laughs> but then the second song, the third song, the fourth song, every time she got better, you know, right in front of our eyes. We saw all that. We watched it. Gloomy Sunday was fantastic. Gloomy Sunday blew everybody away. You know, the next one, I'm a fool to watch you a cappella. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, every time I watch that one, it's like, yeah, all four of the songs were great, but that one, a cappella, and so much emotion in it, too. And it's like, it was perfect, I thought, you know, from an eight-year-old. Okay, now, Gloomy Sunday, I guess she was seven, if I got my numbers right. Then she turned eight, so the other three songs, she was eight years old. But there was the audition. The first one was like an audition. And then there was other people who had to audition. Then they come back and they film, you know, the rest of the show, I guess. I'm not sure how it all works. But that's what I, from a very reliable source, that's what I was told. And, um, but when you think about it, you know, that's a, that is a skill, too. Not everybody can walk out on a stage and, and do anything, you know. But some people just love the stage. Angelina was born for it, that's for sure. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.